What's up guys, welcome back to Man Cave Collectibles, coming at you today with another figure review. Today we're going to take a look at the new Spider-Man Retro Wave Mysterio figure from Marvel Legends. This is a new figure that just dropped. I was able to pick it up from Dorkside Toys. Actually, my friend over on YouTube channel, Zach Jack Dan, had done an order and he grabbed two, one for me and one for him. I was able to get this from him today, so thanks to Jack da Zach Jack Dan for providing the figure for us today and me being able to add it to my Spider-Man shelf. So if you've been keeping up with my channel, I'm building teams. I'm very focused on my Marvel Legend collection. Uh, Mysterio is going to fit right in on my Spider-Man shelf. So my goal with the Spider-Man shelf is to collect Spider-Man and kind of his main foes, his main group of foes. A lot of those classics being Mysterio, being one so I was really excited to have this guy. I did have the original Mysterio figure um, back when it originally released. Uh, since that time, I had sold off my entire Marvel Legends collection, and now I'm kind of rebuilding that collection as we speak. So I'm happy to have this guy, but we won't have the comparison with the old one. We will throw up a little slide here just to kind of uh, show you know the difference. We may throw up that slide a time or two throughout this review video just to kind of show the differences in the two. So... Jumping right on into the figure, we got that nice card back that we've gotten with all of these Spider-Man Retro Wave figures. Really nostalgic look to them. You got that Spider-Man and that very, you know, 90s style artwork. The Marvel Comics symbol very much being in that 90s style. Got a nice little promotional art uh, image here of Mysterio and kind of his classic colors there. As we flip on around to the back, we've got... The other figures that are in this wave, as we know, these are actually, you know, on pegs now in stores. We're seeing those a lot on our toy hunts. If you haven't seen my toy hunts, check those out. Uh, they're pretty interested to kind of get out there and see, you know, what's really out there right now on the pegs for you to pick up. But these are pretty, pretty easy to find. I've been seeing them pretty often here lately. So we know about those. Got a little bit of a right up here, a cloud of smoke heralds the arrival of the villainous mastermind who uses the art of illusion against Spider-Man Mysterio. Then it shows a little bit of our gimmick here as far as the uh, cape is concerned. So we'll go ahead and pop this guy out of his packaging and see what we got. All right, guys, so we got Mysterio out of his packaging, looking fantastic here on the review table. As always, let's jump right into the accessories first. First thing that, he, that we'll take a look at, and really I guess the only thing that we'll take a look at, are the two accessories he comes with. This is considered hypnotic mist. So these kind of go around his feet and legs uh, just to kind of provide that, you know, that illusion that, that he puts off. You can see here that it does kind of have the design of like an octopus arm there, kind of built in within the mist. So it looks really, really nice. This is just a soft plastic, just a soft translucent plastic. It's not gonna break on you, uh, but it's also not gonna mold for you. Uh, what you have here is kind of how they're gonna look, um, period. You're not gonna be able to, to mold these to your desire. But they look really nice. We'll take a look at these kind of in their place uh, here shortly. Jumping on into the figure itself, we got Mysterio here. He looks really, really nice. Obviously, we got a completely different deco than what we received with the first one. We'll go ahead and throw up an image here. Uh, we've got a little bit more of a cloudy look to, uh, to his um, helmet, I guess you could call it. Uh, you know, fishbowl is what I, I can remember as a kid calling it his fishbowl uh, when I would hear about Mysterio. But, you know, his helmet or whatever you want to call it, uh, it's a little more cloudy so you can't see what's underneath where with the last one, you could just gently see, you could barely see uh, what was under there. And I really like this design better. Um, so, you know, that's kind of a to each his own design. You guys can put in the comments which one you prefer. Uh, but I like this one. There's also something else that I really like about this one. And that is some of the paintwork that Hasbro has done here. You can see these, these shades of black all throughout his costume. And I really, really like that look. 
You can see it real good here on the knees, right above the knees, right here under the chest area, kind of in the within the arms here. So th those are intentional. Those are intentional um, shades of black, and I, I really like that. I think that's a fantastic look. You can see it kind of there all over the arms. I, I wouldn't have minded some of that actually, you know, on the cape. Um, just to kind of give the cape a little bit of a of a rugged look, I guess you could say. Uh, now looking at the, you can see there, we really have hardly no ability to see into this helmet. You can, you can barely see, I'm not sure how good it's showing up on camera, but you can barely see there's something in there. We're going to take a look at that. But you, you can't see what's what's in there like you could on the first version. Um, as far as hands for this guy, you can see here we've kind of got these open hands. This one, a little bit more grabby uh, than this one here. This one's just kind of an open hand, almost like, you know, it's casting a spell, that type of thing. Um, you know, moving on down to those boots. The boots and the uh, gauntlets and gloves are all the same color. Uh, so you just got got these nice boots on here. I think those look really nice and good. Now, one thing that is also cool here that we can do, we can pop this off and reveal an actual face and head. So let's take a look at that. So you've got a translucent plastic that is made basically out of the same material this is. You can see there the same color. And we actually have a face and hair and everything with this guy. That is really cool. It sits up a little high, you can see there. It kind of sits up a little high on that neck. Uh, so that, that that's kind of weird a little bit. You know, you kind of wish they would take the head down a little more. It would obviously, you know, hinder the articulation if you were to do that. Um, and I'm not sure what face sculpt this is. It, it looks like the multiple man, uh, one of the multiple man heads, if I can remember right, but I'm not 100% sure. You guys tell me, let me know in the comments, whose head is this that they're using here for this? I swear it looks like one of the multiple man heads that you received with the multiple man figure. But that, I thought that was a that was a cool addition. Now, most people are gonna display him looking like this. Uh, this just sits right down. It doesn't lock on the shoulders anywhere, but it does have a peg in the back and there's a peg hole in the back of his back. So you can peg in just like that and it'll kind of hold it there in place pretty good. Okay. And he stands pretty well. I, I can't complain as far as as far as his ability to stand. He, he does a fine job of standing even with that big large cape on the back. So no concerns there. Let's take a quick look at how his accessories look when they're placed in place. So you can see here right at the bottom, there's a place to kind of slide that over his foot and calf. So this one, you're just going to pop directly on there like that. And there may be other ways for, for these to go as well, but I'm just going to show you kind of the, the, the easiest way that I found. On this one here, you've got an area right here where you're going to pop on this foot, kind of around that ankle. Okay. And that's what you're going to have. So I think that's a really cool look. Uh, I will probably go ahead and pose him on the shelf with that effect on him. It definitely is very Mysterio-ish, uh, so I think Mar you know Hasbro Marvel Legends did a good job with that. As far as articulation, it's going to be your standard Marvel articulation. There is nothing special here. Not going to really get any articulation out of this head with this on, with the head off. He had great articulation, full 360 on the head. Again, most people are going to be displaying this. As far as those arms, we're going to be able to get them up to there. We're not going to get the full 360, as you can tell from the cape. Bicep swivel here. No issues. Double jointed elbows, as we're getting with most of our male characters. Mine's a little tight in there, but we do have that double joint. No articulation right above the gauntlet. The gauntlet is set in place, but we have full articulation here at the wrist, which is your traditional Marvel Legends back and forth, and the full 360 at the wrist. 
great articulation here. We've got that nice ab crunch that we know we get with Marvel Legend. And then we get a swivel at the thigh, which is nice as well, because we have gotten some Marvel Legends recently that had one or the other. So I love when they're able to throw them both in. I think that adds a ton to the posability, you know, of a, of a figure. So that's a nice addition. Popping those legs out, we can get them to here. Got no swivel. No swivel up in the hip. We do have a cut in the thigh. It's a tight cut, but the cut's there. Double jointed knees, as we typically get. Okay. Got a boot cut, calf cut, whatever you want to call it. So that's a nice addition. And then a ton of range of motion here in this foot. We can get that thing all over the place. So you're going to have no, no problem posing this guy. Your only hindrance for the posability of this fella is going to be the cape, the weight of it, as well as it just getting in the way and hindering, you know, one of the mo a movement or a pose you may want to do. So that's really it. That's our first look kind of there at the Mysterio figure, the new retro wave Mysterio figure. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I would love to know, are you picking this guy up? Are you happy with the one you already have? Uh, what are your thoughts? I do want to go ahead and do some quick size comparisons. We'll bring in some of the other retro wave figures, and then we'll wrap up our video. All right, guys. So as you can see here, Mysterio is going to run about the same height as your standard Marvel Legend is. Uh, him and Spider-Man around the same height. Him and Electro around the same height. Electro's got a little height advantage on folks. Uh, obviously because of his mass there, just kind of pointing up top. And then we got big Mr. Kingpin here on the end. So just to kind of give you guys a feel for where this guy stands, he's exactly where you would picture him standing uh, and where he should be standing. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. That really helps me as far as getting that video out there. We just surpassed a thousand subscribers. So we're, we're really moving and the channel's growing and I really want to thank you guys for that, my subscribers. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as part of the Man Cave Collectibles team. I think we're doing some fun stuff here. We're going to do another toy hunt video this weekend, see what's on the shelves in another part of North Carolina uh, that I don't really go to a whole lot. So that'll be kind of some new content for us. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Till next time.